Okay, welcome back to Fallout 4. I'm back as Jasmine. Uh, unfortunately, um, the last episode I recorded had no game audio. Uh, I had three videos. Um, three videos that got that I had set to up to play, you know, to everybody to see, but they had no game audio, so I unfortunately, I didn't catch Sasha, so that one got released, and I didn't, I let, I put a note out there saying that it had no game audio, um, I just released another Sasha episode that does have sound, I did verify it, um, so that should be up shortly, uh, and I'm going to put this one out too. I'll s the plan today is to do these five quests. Um, we're going to start with... We're going to go to... Uh, we're going to go to... The... Um, Wreck of the Riptide. We'll end in the Institute. Just exactly like I did. I didn't go back or anything. Um, so... You're not really missing anything. As you can see, I don't have companions with her yet. And I may not have companions with her at all. Um, we're going to go back and fend off the Saints and Sinners attack. Alright, what you're hearing is, uh, uh, Hangman Valley. These idiots should be right over here. I guess there's one left. Drink, dude. I'm surprised you're still living. Not 
looking to buy right now. Sure thing. All right, hopefully he'll live. Yes. Oh, cap. Nice. Mine now. No, I don't want any of that. I want cats. And I'll just take this. All right. Chuck it missile, yes. And I I'll take it. Excellent. Oh. I have jump set up a little bit higher for her. Well, let's talk to Sadie. Do you have a moment? Hey. Her for is going to be the end of us. The saints keep coming and I'm running out of bullets. Who are you? What do you do here? I used to be a customer. I had a guy I was sweet on. But then Not sure I why realized the sound is the way it is. The place, then I won't be able to shop here for it's long. It's a little... Now I keep the place safe, and in exchange I get to I see know. my guy for free. What is this place? Uh, are you running a brothel? It's a bar and brothel. Most people come for the sex and stay for the booze. But we're all out on our asses if these saints get their way. Anything I can do to help? If you want to help, follow me. Cuba will know what to do. Let me in. I need to talk to the boss. I forgot. You swear. It was the fucking saints again. Yeah, we're clear. Just open the damn door. Alright. That's we'll come back and finish that. Come to mama. Another time. Um uh, alright, we're gonna go into We got a few inside Diamond City. We got one of the Fed Street Sheriff's Office. Um uh, well, we will come back and do that later. Uh, did I have that checked? Oh. Uh, I'm a ways away. Um, Pardon me. Yes. Hi. Grab that already. Uh, hi there. Well, I guess I'm a little lucky then. Is that cricket? dead already. Alright. Let's do this. Okay, these are bounties you could pick up. 
And this resets the clipboards. I have a bounty apparently. I'm just going to turn it in. Probably something you didn't see. Sorry about that. And we'll drop it right here. Stay behind the red line or we fire. Now. Nice and easy. Thanks. Let's see those hands. Nope, I'm leaving. Taking anything. It's because I had this gun out. Uh, yeah. Alright, we're gonna go uh, into Diamond City. The hell is this? I'm the last human you're ever gonna lay eyes on. Getting tired yet? Enough. Good riddance to that scum. I think we're done for now. Yes. Thank you, sickle. Uh, you guys gotta do a better job. Uh, okay, we don't need to go in there yet. Let's go into Diamond City. Alright. got to be kidding me. Really? God dang it. This is where I'll have to check and make sure the sound comes back. Sorry about this. I didn't have any crashes this morning. It was kind of weird. Come on, let's go.
Alright, let me guess. Won't be there? Let me switch guns. Oh, actually. Yes. Oh, no, nope, still there. Want some more? Enough of that. Bye. Okay, show's over. There are no sins in Diamond City. Hear me? There's you folks in your damn paranoia. Alright. Not a sense, but whatever. How are you doing? Yeah. Never mind. It, it's not important. All right, let's grab this. Sit here. Let's wait an hour. What time is it? 1941. Should be the robot. Hey. Hey, Arturo. You know, a shotgun's great insurance against raiders, but I got a lot of options here. I'll take a look. Sure. Self-defense at its best. All right. Uh, uh, I don't think I have anything to sell him. Um, unless I have... I don't. Okay. Thanks, Arturo. Arturo. We can talk about guns, or maybe you want to consider something more up close and personal. Like what? Yes. Yeah. You interested in coming to work for me? I have a good spot. You could set up shop, of course. Um. Uh, thanks for heels. Thanks. I'll see you there in a day or two. Now, Betty is is a character you can't actually put a charge with settlement. So it's a good idea to grab her. Um, now, that being said... Hey, sweetie. Don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. What do we got here? Oh, this is Piper. Let's go in here. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Stereo. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. Wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth. Diamond City, how does it compare to your old life? Uh... Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, 
Rebuilding the world? It gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, the uh, big question. Why come to Diamond City? You're looking for someone, aren't you? Who is it? My baby, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. I have been a parent at the after the missing child. <laughs> So, but we gotta replay all this crap because, well, Tell me, we just do. Do you suspect the Institute's involved? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. I have been For the there. last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. It just doesn't happen. Oh. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least that you'll know the truth. Ooh. Strong note to end on. Audio's off there. Thanks. That's everything. It's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to get Diamond What's City. What's the mod issues maybe here? Look, about your son. I didn't know if you were on the up and up before. Didn't want to waste my friend's time, but I think he can help you. His name's Nick Valentine, a detective extraordinaire. Got an office here in Diamond City. Just look for the neon sign with the heart in it. Thanks, Piper. I'll talk to him. He'll like you. He's got a soft spot for the hard luck cases. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. What well, goes back to the Institute? Uh... Alright, let's get out of here. You might want to talk to me some more. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Well, we got to go to Valentine's Detective Agency. Uh, I believe attending the directorate meeting will make me instant enemies with the railroad, if I'm not mistaken. So, let's do Saints and Sinners really quick, and... Go to the Boston Bordello and we'll do that really quick. Pretty simple. This takes a few minutes. Jane, we'll be talking to you soon. So what's the word? Same old, same old. It's just that over there. That's new. Yeah. Well, let's hope she starts it's shooting up the place before, before I get alone. bored. The rest is just a bonus. Whoa. How's it going? Real? Uh, okay. I gotta find my way around here. Hold on. It's, uh, 
where the hell is it? Uh, hey there. Whoa, crap. Uh, it's, it's this. It's this way. Got lost for a second. Hi, Cherry. Um, hey, got a sec? Hi, Penelope. If you need a drink, try asking Molly downstairs. You might want to check your order, though. I'm not entirely sure she speaks English. Okay. They say in the olden days that enlightened men drink wines made of the finest grapes. I contend that fruit has no place in the hallowed halls of a brewery. Another drink, Penelope. Are you sure you should be drinking so much? What if you end up an addict like your customers? My dear, that will never happen. I don't drink to get drunk. I drink for clarity. See, liquor is called the spirit for a reason. Inside this wellspring of man is the very soul of the world. The secrets I will someday unlock. So yes, pour me another drink. Boss, the saints came after us again. We gotta hit him back this time. Huh. I suppose we're running out of cheeks to turn. Are you sure this intel you received is good? It's good. Then it's settled. You will take care of the saints, and I'll take care of these spirits. One other thing. I want to take this girl with me. She showed real moxie up there. Fine, fine. Uh, just do me a favor and uh, spare me the details. You know I can't stand the thought of blood. Will do. Alright, follow me and stay close. The church isn't too far from here, but that doesn't make it safe. Mr. Q's teaching me about the world. Today I learned about something called the York. Okay. Mr. Q. All right, we will not catch her. Uh, because she's like lickety split out of here. She's miles away by now probably. Where is she? Thank you. Looks like she's gonna stay there. He should be here. Funny. This doesn't look like a hideout. Fuck, it's a trap! I dare you are.
Shot that one between the legs. That was kind of funny. Mine now. All right, you head back to the bar. And I'll just take this. Can't be thirty-three rounds. Oh. No. Why did it? Okay, whatever. Just. How are you doing? Okay, for some reason I'm not able to reload, at least not able to reload this gun. Just like the men you killed. Don't worry, I'm not here to fight. In fact, I'm on your side. You see, our leader's making this out to be a religious crusade. But the truth is, this is just personal. Who are you people, exactly? In dark times, men need faith. It gives us hope, and the power to change. The problem is, as time goes by, that power can be corrupted. It's not that closing this brothel is a noble cause. If that were the real reason for this war, then I wouldn't be here. What do you mean by that? It's an old story. A boy visits a brothel, hoping to become a man. Only this story has a cruel twist. It wasn't a woman waiting behind that door. It was his sister. A girl named Jane. What is it you want? Well, in the old days, conflicts like this happened on a much larger scale. Sometimes alliances were forged with marriages, others with hostages. I want you to give Q this letter. It outlines the terms of a peace agreement. No setup this time, no tricks. Alright, 
So, did you send the fanatics back to their precious maker? I'm sorry, boss. It was a stone-cold setup. Should have known it was too good to be true. Which means we're no closer to ending these interruptions of yours. I have something for you. So the saints want to make peace. I suppose since their little ambush didn't work, now they want to negotiate. Take the deal. Agreed. Some would use our advantage to try and force a checkmate, when it's far easier to let your opponent concede. Plus all this talk of war is making me nauseous. Take the girl home, her debt is paid. Alright, let's go. find your home. Really? Q said it was okay? Then I guess we should go. I don't really have anything to pack. I want to leave it all behind. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go. Excuse me. So, Q took the deal. It's good to see diplomacy is alive and well. As for you, you've made a friend in the Saints. And perhaps you've even earned a place in our circle. When that time comes, we'll find you. Is it true? Are you really taking me home? Yes, I am. Maybe not the home you remember. Um, but home nonetheless. Hello? What's about my brother? Quiet. Yeah, hot. Leave him to me. In the meantime, you can explain to me how this all came about. I don't really know what to tell you. You should tell me the truth. As for your brother, we'll come up with something better. All right. And... Why can't I jump up there? There we go. Sadie Hired has returned. What of it? Is it taken care of? Hired help or not, I got the job done. And you managed to do it without dirtying my floors. You're a woman after my own heart. And as such, you deserve a reward worthy of a true lady. Here, my finest bottle of bourbon. Drink it in good health. All right. Cube balls are being soft. Sometimes, though, I feel like his brain is much too... Hey there. Alright, let's go. Good quest. Uh, short, sweet, to the point. Not particularly difficult. Uh, you know, it's, it's good. It's... 
I like it. I, I like it. Alright, now we've done that, we don't have to come back here anymore. So, we have two left on the HUD. Uh, well, actually only one. Um, we could go talk to Codsworth. Not sure if I've pulled Preston. It looks like I have. Uh, but before we talk to Codsworth, I think we're going to go to the Institute. to go to the directorate meeting. So... Uh, let's just go ahead and... how truly humbling it is to stand in your presence. I really don't know what to say. I'm listening. I often wonder what the Institute's founders would think of our accomplishments. I think it's time we begin. Excellent. Sir, excuse me, but what exactly is she doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth Notice continues the, uh, to rise, as we're all aware. The, uh, Your report. Greatest? All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ayo has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes, uh... Watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on Phase 3? Uh, sir? Are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about Phase 3? I don't think so. It's all right. I wouldn't expect you to have. The project has been classified from the beginning. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. In this world, I'm sure compromise is necessary. Quite right. For far too long, we've been dependent on others. On our surroundings, that time is over. Phase three is simply 
The activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Can you tell me more about this reactor? Certainly. It was originally built for the Commonwealth Institute of Technology before the war. But was only for testing. Over the years, we've advanced the technology, made a great many improvements, and are finally nearly ready to activate it. The reactor is closely ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to Phase 3, and to how you will help. Sir? Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yes? Well, he is gone. While I am not overly fond of putting my own mother in harm's way, she has proven more than capable of handling herself. Y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. Why? Please, be serious. everyone, please, I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you, but we're running out of time. Um... There must be something we can do to help you. The only thing that matters now is continuing the Institute's work. It will be all right. I assure you, we can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my mother as my successor. No, oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? She isn't one of us! She isn't even a scientist! Ignoring your well, borderline insubordinate I would love to just I shoot everybody this. in this The room Institute has myself. enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. That's right. I believe my mother has already proven herself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. Um, hey, got a sec? The Institute is my life. I hope it'll be yours too. That does sound interesting. I had no idea. I know this is. Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Mother. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. Uh. I can do the job. Of course you can. That's why I made the decision. There's no question that some of the Directorate and the Institute at large will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us. But for you especially, I know that you'll do the right thing. All right. You can go talk to I have every confidence you'll make a fine director. I hope so. Yeah, I am not. I'm going to go talk to Dr. Volkert. Ooh, my nose has a tickle. Ooh. Actually, 
No visible reaction to the K-14 compound. We'll start the next trial. The dosage will be much larger this time. Ooh, it's a female And the side effects die. will likely be more pronounced. Will there be any pain? I honestly don't know. I suppose it's your job to find out. Now hold still. Bingo. There. All done. You can return to your duties. And remember to record every symptom you experience in detail. I hope I'll prove a useful test subject for you, Doctor. Mm -hmm. It must make you proud to see all that Father has done. All that he has built. Absolutely. Need patching up? Dr. Volkert, I need your help. My son is dying. Please, save him. I was in cryosleep until recently. I didn't want it to end like this, Sean. They left me on ice. For 60 years. 60 years. So much time. Wasted. Believe me, I wish I could, but he's suffering from a very aggressive form of cancer. We've tried a variety of experimental treatments, but Sean has not responded well to any of them. All we can do at this point is offer palliative care. I am so sorry. And here we go. Uh... I saw Kellogg's life. All this tech. So you could stay young forever? You do what you have to do. That's not possible at all. It's not how it works. First, Sean is too old and his body is too weak to survive the required surgery. Second, the kind of cybernetic implants Kellogg received merely slow aging. They don't cure cancer. Third, Sean would never agree to this He's always been opposed to this particular kind of life extension technology. It's hopeless. What about the virus? FEV. I just want my son back. One way or another. Are you mad? The FEV has many negative side effects. Even if he survives, he'll turn into a super mutant. Sean would never approve of this anyway. It would have to be administered without his knowledge or consent. I can't go along with this. Uh... Forget it. That might be a bad idea. No problem. Just don't bring it up again. I won't. I don't like the idea. I'm not going to give up. Uh... Not going to give up finding a cure. Uh... Do whatever it takes. Please, save him. I tried everything known to Institute Science. What more can I do? Got a minute to patch me up, Dr. Volkert? Let's have a look. Well, I've certainly seen worse. I've got just the thing. How can I help? We are honored there we to are. welcome you. Good as new. That's We've good to know. We've got some medical supplies over at requisitions. I suggest you stop. Alright, we'll talk to him again. Uh, and see if I want to do this. Quest again. I don't want to do mass fusion today. Uh, well, let's end it here. Um, I think I'm gonna, then we'll go do mass fusion next time I come back with Jasmine. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be back with more Fallout 4 again real soon. Take care and good night.